What's going on YouTube? So actually I wanted to talk about something that I get asked all the time when I detail a car is how many times should I wash my car? When should I wash it? And I'm going to kind of gloss over like how you should wash it. I mean, that's a lot more complicated than just that. But big question, how long does your car sit outside? Is your car a daily driver? Does it sit outside 24 seven? Is it garaged? How is it kept? What color is it? Do you go through construction? A lot of these questions that a lot of my uh, clients don't ask. They're like, oh, well, th there should be a set amount, right? No. If your car is outside 24-7, your commute has a bunch of construction, well, you should. that car should be washed at least once a week. If that was my car, at least once a week. Because I can tell you that road tar... The dirt, the dust from construction, it's going to get all over your car. And it's going to harm the paint. Especially like tar. If you're on fresh paved roads, <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, once a week minimum. I mean, that tar, you let it sit there for a month, done. You're, every little spot where that's been, every spot where that tar was, you'll have clear coat damage. So you want to avoid that. So it's a, not a simple question to answer. If your garage, I mean, if you drove the car... 30 miles a month. It's a garage queen. You're going to a car show, back to a car show. It's, I mean, it could be a Ferrari. It could be an old Buick that's been restored. I mean, something like that, you know, like, okay, that might not even need a full wash. I mean, you might be able to get away with a nice waterless wash because it's a garage queen. Do that properly. Boom, you're done. Great. But a daily driver, totally different story. Uh, I mean, you can do waterless washes on a daily driver problem is you have to know exactly what you're doing otherwise you're going to be inflicting a ton of swirls into your paint you got to know all the proper techniques so like that's why i'm going to just gloss over that so so okay so if your car's a daily driver it sits outside 24 7 i'd say once a week pretty easy especially if you're in construction if you're not in construction maybe go two weeks if it's a white car Maybe you can go three, four, maybe in a month. I mean, it just depends. If you have black, after two weeks, you're going to want to wash it. If you can go a whole month with that, like, that's the other thing. I'm just talking about dust. If you're just driving, no construction, and it's just dust, a little bit of dirt, you're not going on gravel roads, nice and simple, cool. You'll be fine. And that's the other thing. If you or someone, you got a gray colored car, you got something that can hide the dirt pretty well, and you're not going to be too OCD about it, you can probably get a month out of it. You do, do what I do, um, or did before I plastered it in my car. I would, I'm not going through construction. I mean, I would avoid that like a plague. I was going around, I was mapping everything out on Google Maps, a little OCD. I mean, I don't think most people do that. But yeah, so I was avoiding everything major. If I had bird poop on it, I'd get it off immediately. So I knew I wasn't getting the road tar. So I was pretty much worried about tree sap and bird poop. And tree steps can be a little harder to spot, but obviously if your car looks perfect, you know, like, you know, really clean, you can see tree sap right away. But with bird poop, I mean, that's obvious. You just get that off immediately. So if you can do all that, I mean, you can go a month without washing your car and be pretty simple. And that's the other thing. The more you wash your car, the more you are going to not hurt their clear coat, but the more you're going to risk swirl marks and stuff like that because stuff's just going to happen. So there's not a perfect answer to how long, how many times you should wash your car, if you should wash it every week, if it should be every two weeks. It just depends. So what I'm saying, though, is you have to f factor everything into the equation. How you drive, where you drive, is it garage kept, all that stuff. That way you can choose... Whether you can do it once a week, you can go two weeks, and that's the other thing. What do you have? Do you have a house where you have a, um, access to a hose and water, even a, maybe even a power washer? Or are you in an apartment where if you have a wireless watch? Now, if you live in an apartment, I would, and you know, you're like, okay, I'm gonna, well, the wireless wash is the way I wanna go. I would honestly do that more than less. I would honestly do a wireless wash more often. Just because 
the longer you go with that, the more built up dirt, the higher chance you're gonna have of scratching a clear coat. And as a novice, it's gonna be a lot harder. I, as in, if someone's just first starting out, I would highly recommend sooner rather than later, just because I can just I can already see the problems that would occur if you waited a month and then tried to wireless wash for the first time. I can see some of the dirty rag they start at the bottom, then they put that rag on the top. I mean, I could just see a nightmare waiting to happen there. So that's uh, so. There's so many things you have to worry about. There's no simple question. I know I rambled on a lot in this video, but I just want to make that clear. There's no clear-cut answers like, oh, I should detail my car this many times a year. I mean, I recommend to my clients, if your car sits outside, I sit four times a year. And they sit there, what? That's insane. I'm like, no, because trust me, no wax, no sealant, unless you have a coating. Even a coating, I mean, these the elements that we're in, especially where I live, we get all four seasons. It's, you just, you got to take care of your car. So, with all that said, Think about the color of your car, how you drive, where you drive, and what type of wash you want to do. And all that will factor into when you should wash your car. So, if you like this video and you're a little OCD like me, subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.